Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, it's been a great show today so far and it's about to get better. We're getting a visit today from Cancer Services, doing great work out in the community and here to tell us all about that and more is Christy Dupuy. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Obviously, this is such a hugely important cause here. I mean, almost everybody in the greater Baton Rouge area or in our viewing area is touched by some way by cancer, right? right. Either a friend, a family member or something like that. So. The work you're doing is really hugely important, but I think people probably don't realize the wide array of services that you provide. Tell the folks a little bit about that. Sure, yeah, like you said, um, annually over 4,000 people in our greater Baton Rouge community will hear those words, you have cancer. So we want people to know that we are here in the community to help, and we do that in a multitude of ways. Anything from financial assistance to um, helping people get wigs, supplies, wheelchairs, hospital beds. We also have a really robust children and family program, and that's for kids with cancer, kids with siblings with cancer, or kids with parents with cancer. We just hosted a great event this past Sunday, um, an Easter party, they had an Easter egg hunt, visit from the Easter Bunny, games, food and fun, just, just a great event for kids and families to help kind of forget about the cancer in their lives and also meet other people going through that same thing. Um, and the main thing we want to convey is that all of our services are free of charge to the community. So. Um, a cancer diagnosis is devastating enough. You shouldn't have to worry about one more thing. So we just want people to know if they know someone or if they've been diagnosed that our doors are open for them. I mean, it sounds like you really employ a holistic approach where you're taking care of both the people who've been diagnosed and their caretakers. And obviously when something like this affects a family, they have lots of questions. They don't know where to go and you're there to help with some of that. Exactly. I mean, I think you really uh, hit the nail on that is that um, it's more than just the person diagnosed. It's the whole family. So we really want to help people kind of meet them where they are. There's no cookie cutter approach to how we do things and just kind of help them navigate through that journey as best we can. I know that that's a need that you know everyone feels here. I've been I've lost a parent to cancer, so I know what that felt like. And and really, that's a time when you need uh, the most assistance you can get, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And then um, I'm so sorry to hear about that. And people in that that situation, they can still come. We have support groups for people. Um, you know, it's not just like I was saying. There's no cookie cutter way to do this. We have people right. who have been coming for to support groups for 30 plus years, and people who have either lost someone or found out they had cancer yesterday. So right. it really is kind of that family surrounding and try to try to help people as much as they can. While we have social workers on staff, we often hear a lot of time people get the most support from talking through others who have been through the same things. Well, I know a large part of what you do at Cancer Services involves community awareness. So talk to me a little bit about how you're reaching out to, to kind of get the word out and educate the folks about that. Yes, that's a big part. That's why we're doing things like this. Um, we are, we work with all the local hospitals. We go to health fairs, um, just trying to get the word out the best the best possible way so that people know if they're hit with that diagnosis that our doors are open at Cancer Services. And the more that people know about that, I mean, sometimes obviously education is key to, to catching things early and, and really can, can work out the best for them. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's important to talk to your doctor, get screened, hopefully catch it before it gets to that, right. that, um, that state. But um, if that does happen, then um, Cancer Services is here. Tell the folks where they can go to find out more information about the great services you provide. Sure, they can go to our website, cancerservices.org, or call us at 225-927-2273, or come see us. We're at 550 Lobdell Avenue. Chrissy, thanks so much for coming on. Tell Thank us all about so it. Thank you so much for it. having us. We'll be back to wrap it up next on this edition of Across Louisiana. Don't go anywhere, folks.